Welcome to the BMW Test Center at the Nürburgring. My name is Christian Flesser. I am Head of Driving Dynamic Systems Development at BMW M. I'd like to give you an insight into the secrets of BMW M's Driving Dynamics Development. This is the new BMW M3, a pre-production vehicle. This means that we're already close to series production within the various vehicle development phases. We're at the Nürburgring to coordinate the fine-tuning of its driving dynamics control systems. The new M3 will be available in two drive options. Rear-wheel standard drive and our new M X-Drive, all-wheel drive. Here at the Nürburgring, we drive many laps on the Nordschleife, but we also take the cars out on country routes, motorways and roads with bad surfaces. We want to find the best possible balance between racetrack performance and customer suitability, customer benefit, customer performance. I'd like to introduce you to Peter, who's responsible for the driving dynamics development of the new BMW M3 and M4. He's going to take you on a country drive in the new M3. Here we go. We're on the damper tuning route now. We drive this route about seven times a day before heading back to the workshop. There the dampers will be changed for new ones. The new dampers are equipped with various components that help create the specific effect we're looking for. We put a lot of effort into eliminating disturbance from the steering system, such as the force generated by friction. It's a big task, but once we achieve it, the result will be a vehicle that's very easy to drive. It's best to fine-tune the vehicle on a bad road surface because that's where we come across the biggest challenges and find the most feedback to work with. With the stabilization control system, we want to allow the driver to gradually take the vehicle to the limit and then give them the performance that allows them to keep it there. This is the first time that we're offering MX Drive in the BMW M3. The system supports low friction conditions such as snow and ice, especially when cornering dynamically. We have a friction coefficient meter on board, enabling the vehicle to sense the level of friction between the road surface and the tires. Here we go. One lap around the Nordschleife. The disappointing thing about this lap is that I'm only the passenger, but luckily Peter is a great driver. Now it's on to the first exciting section, braking at Hatzenbach. This is very challenging for the ABS. Here we check to make sure that the wheels don't stop at the slip value and that the car brakes well. We're driving straight over the top of Schwedenkreuz, one of the circuit's fastest sections. Here it's important that the car has good aerodynamic balance, so that when you're driving like this, the rear remains stable and tight to the road, and we don't lose any wheel load. Now we turn into Fuchsröhre. Fuchsröhre is a very narrow section if you take the ideal line. Here we need a very controlled body. There's still the potential for improvement right now. The car is still very pressure heavy. Now we're driving out of the corner with slight oversteer. There's roadworks here. Of course we're driving within the speed limit. So, roadworks over, on we go. Now we head in the direction of Kallenhardt. Here you need good grip at the front axle when turning in as the corner is very tight. Turning in's a real pleasure. Now we come to a significant braking point, Breitscheid Bridge. The ABS is very important here. There's an oil spill ahead. That doesn't give you much confidence as a passenger, but Peter's driving does. Here at Exmühle, the M differential comes into play. You need grip because the corner turns outwards. You also need forward traction to take the speed into the louder curve. Oh, 
It's fascinating to feel the car traveling so smoothly over the curbs. Now we switch on the DSC, which takes us very softly to the limit. The DSC is fully activated and we have no problems driving at full racetrack speed. You don't feel at all restricted. The car releases torque freely, but helps out if you overdo it. One lap on the Nürburgring Nordschleife in the new BMW M3 is so fast. It's a cool car, absolutely thrilling. For me, the M3 is at its best in every situation. As developers, we have best in segment goals, and the M3 masters them all with confidence. That's best in class.